Manila was once a well-planned, progressive, mass transit-based city. The beautiful, bustling urban center of the Philippines had a well-planned beginning. With the Tranvia traversing through the city, homes and development centers were built along its routes, along with modes of transport modernizing throughout the years. Manila progressed to what it is today. However, challenges come with development. Daily traffic congestion. Pollution. Environmental risks to households in dangerous areas. And an increasing pressure of population growth is the fundamental cause of many problems Manila is facing. And this is spreading to surrounding areas of Bulacan, Rizal, Laguna, and Cavite. Without a present solution, these problems will worsen as the population steadily increases from 23 million to 30 million for the Mega Manila by the year 2030, becoming one of the largest mega cities in Asia. How can Mega Manila cope? Introducing the Dream Plan, a doable, long-term integrated transport infrastructure development for Mega Manila. Using transport as a catalyst for sustainable development the Dream Plan aims to put an end to traffic congestion, households situated in high-risk areas, mobility barriers on the road, excessive transport costs that burden low-income groups, and air pollution. The Dream Plan envisions solutions built and developed within and outside Manila, so it combines forces with Region 3, which consists of the provinces of Central Luzon, and Region 4A, which includes the Calabarzon provinces, to curb the negative impacts of problems that go with urban progress. How does the Dream Plan work? It redefines the city's spatial structure from conventional, radial, and circumferential pattern to ladder form to spread out and accommodate the growing population. It uses a polycentric development strategy New hubs of economic and lifestyle activities are built and made accessible to new homes and are interconnected by integrated networks of expressways and commuter rails, roads and highways. New roles are assigned to the existing gateway ports of Manila, Subic and Batangas to maximize capacities and development opportunities. Repurposed Clark and Manila airports will serve as gateway airports for the greater capital region. New Naia will be developed in the vicinity of Metro Manila, which is to be as competitive as those of Singapore and Hong Kong. Dream Plan will further include five components. Construction of missing links of urban roads will be completed, while new ones will also be built. This includes integrated intercity and urban expressways. Construction and improvement of vital links have commenced, such as the rehabilitation of EDSA, the Plaridel Bypass Road. The Anghari Slex Link. Skyway 3. Naia Expressway. The Star Expressway, and many more are already in the pipeline. Urban and suburban rail networks will be expanded in integration with different systems. Capacities of existing urban rail lines are currently being increased. New lines are already in the planning stage. There is now the integration of the provincial bus services for the southwest routes of Mega Manila. Other areas will also see the same improvements. The fleets of buses and jeepneys will be modernized and their routes, terminals and interchange facilities will also be reorganized. On top of these, traffic management, enforcement and education will be improved. Modernization of traffic signaling systems has been underway and measures for road safety are continually done. A comprehensive traffic management study will be required to cover the many interactive aspects of traffic management systematically. Manila will see significant positive impacts economically, socially, financially, and environmentally by the year 2030. Traffic will significantly improve as travel time is reduced, 
which will mean an equivalent savings of 1.9 billion pesos a day. Vehicle operations will also save 2.1 billion pesos per day. The severe impacts of earthquakes, floods and landslides are minimized, as new areas will open up providing opportunities to relocate households in dangerous areas to safer residential zones outside of Manila. Pollution is reduced, contributing to healthier and more productive citizens. We can make it happen. Manila can be even better in the near future. We don't have to wait. We've always had the plans. We've always had the go signal. Dream Plan can be funded by both public and private sectors. Now, funding is no object. Let's continue pursuing our dreams.